What secret is holding you back? Think about that for a minute. Maybe it's a belief that you're not really that good or special or worthy of love, or maybe it's an unhealthy relationship with food or alcohol or your phone. It's not something that most people would know about you, but you know about you. Welcome to The Next Simple Step. I'm Paul Goldsmith. No judgment here. I just want to talk today about finding freedom by sharing your secrets with someone trustworthy so that you can become the best version of yourself, the way God designed you to be, to create the things that you were made to create. You've heard the saying, secrets, secrets are no fun. Secrets hurt someone. But secrets are also one of the most tantalizing aspects of human behavior. There's actually a new docuseries on Amazon, and it's the most popular one to date for Amazon because it is about secrets. It's called Shiny Happy People, Duggar Family Secrets. Secrets are intriguing because if someone's keeping a secret, there must be a reason. And the Duggar family has plenty of them. They were made famous about a a decade ago uh, for having a bunch of kids and then doing a long running reality show on TLC called 19 Kids and Counting. And part of the secret was on TV, they looked shiny, happy, good Christian people. And behind the scenes, of course, that wasn't the case. There's abuse, exploitation of kids, and authoritarian rule by the soft-spoken dad, Jim Bob Duggard. But this isn't about him or the family. As a Christian, I've actually struggled with this. I've often avoided watching or talking about any stories or documentaries that exposed Christians and put them in a negative light because, frankly, it's embarrassing to have a faith that is shared with people that are clearly not living up to the standard of how they should live as a follower of Jesus. And we realize that, okay, well, no one lives up to that standard. That was kind of the point that we all fall short, but we ought to do our best to come clean, to reveal our secrets and to live with integrity. And I've now come to appreciate these sort of exposés because I believe Jesus was right when he said, the truth shall set you free. And Christianity isn't really about following Jim Bod Duggard or the spiritual guru exposed in the series, Bill Gothard. It's about Jesus, full stop. And that's okay if you're, you're not a believer, but please don't judge the faith by these other people who, there's a lot of people that take advantage of people's faith, of their honest belief in following God, and they make their own religion that makes them famous or rich, but doesn't have a lot to do with actually following Jesus. But none of this is new. In the 1800s, there was a Catholic writer and politician named Lord Acton, and I I love this dude because he wrote that power tends to corrupt and absolute power corrupts absolutely. Great men are almost always bad men. Whoa. (laughs) Harsh. But uh, here's the thing, that quote gets thrown around a lot, power tends to corrupt and absolute power corrupts absolutely. But it's a part of a much longer series of letters that Lord Acton wrote concerning the moral problem of the Catholic Inquisition, where the Catholic Church took it upon themselves to try and execute people for moral crimes, but they tended to not come after their leaders. And Lord Acton believed that the same moral standard should be applied to all men, political and religious leaders included. This is so good. I want to share with you a little bit more of one of Lord Acton's letters to Bishop Creighton, because I think it could directly appeal to our leaders today. In it, he wrote, I cannot accept your canon that we are to judge Pope and King, unlike other men, with a favorable presumption that they did no wrong. If there's any presumption, is the other way against holders of power, increasing as the power increases. Historic responsibility has to make up for the want of legal responsibility. Power tends to corrupt, and absolute power corrupts absolutely. Great men are almost always bad men, even when they exercise influence and not authority. Still more, when you super add the tendency or the certainty of corruption by authority, 
There is no worse heresy than that the office sanctifies the holder of it. That is the point at which the negation of Catholicism and the negation of liberalism meet and the end learns to justify the means. That's incredible. We ought to hold our leaders, whether they be politicians or religious leaders or local church leaders, whoever, to a higher moral standards. How you treat other humans matters. Full stop. It's not how charismatic or charming a leader is because we all fall for that stuff. But at the end of the day, how do you treat people that have nothing to give you that you are more powerful than? I think we can all learn something from this. How you treat the bathroom attendant or maybe someone that uh, cleans your house or the grocery store clerk, that ultimately impacts your character of who you are. And the more influence and power that you have, the more corrupting it can be, as Lord Acton pointed out. And so whatever secrets you may be keeping, make sure that you bring them to light. Find a trustworthy person to talk to and expose them for your own soul and well-being. Because as they say in Alcoholics Anonymous, you're as sick as your secrets. And so there's no judgment here. There's no shame here. I just want to encourage you to be the best version of yourself. And so whatever you're struggling with, make sure that it comes to light. It's better if you expose it than someone else call it out. Because Ultimately, it's not about what anybody else thinks of you. It's about what you think of you. If you want to be a good person, you actually have to be a good person when no one's watching because you know, ultimately. And I realize this isn't easy or we would do it more often. Truly, I think peace comes from being able to walk in integrity and just be who you were made to be and not have to front for anybody. Maybe a next simple step for you is just getting curious about what secrets or, or what facade are you putting up? Or maybe a documentary series isn't following you around, but if they were, what would you be afraid that they might expose and find some help, find a trustworthy friend? If you don't have anyone to talk to, reach out. I would be honored to do that. We'll keep it in the cone of silence. So you can text me 559-574-3210. All progress starts by telling the truth. What do you need to tell the truth about today? Until next time, I'm Paul Goldsmith on the next Simple Step Podcast.